Hi all, this is Prasad and uh, we are talking about that uh, uh, how to run access query into the Excel. So I'm going to show you today how to create this and uh, you know this is a very easy method. So please uh, stay on uh, this video to till end. So here is a uh, access database and uh, I want uh, here is a name and here is a company. I want the this data to filter wise. So how will I will do this? So if I select the filter, so I uh, get the specific uh, employee's name. Uh, and I want that data into the Excel. So how will I do this? So I go to Excel sheet here. I created one tool here and if I select here, so one user form um, uh, I will get here and if I select the criteria, so if I select the particular name, the um, the particular employee name, so if I, uh, you know, filter this data, so that data come in into the Excel. So this, this tool I want uh, um, to in a excel so how will i do this so go to developer tab here uh, visible basic and i created one user form okay and here is a combo button so combo button i give the row source for the pr so uh, the item will come into the you know uh, row source pr so pr i uh, define this pr to name range so here is a name range and here is a name is pr so that p uh, name range goes to row source to combo box and here is a filter and here is a code which is the i created to access to excel so i explain the code here how this is uh working here is a variables here is a variables and you know access name access file name is string as a string and dim con as a string sql as a string and uh, dim connection as the you know uh ad O D B dot connections and rocket uh, record set. I declare one here is a record set looping. So I declare here dim r as a integer. So first of all, you need to clear the cells. So here is a clear the cells statement. Clear cells. Here is a sheet one. No, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here is a I skew skew skewed this first. Okay. Here is a clear cells sheet one dot range a to be hundred dot clear first of all uh, when i uh, you know run anything so first of all this clear uh, data will be clear and new data will be arrival here is okay so first of all you need to understand you need to clear the uh, uh, sales here and then define the combo box the combo box is pr is equal to me dot combo box dot value so when you uh, define uh, the combo box value here so that value we can use uh, in a xkill uh, statement okay so combo box name uh, you can define here and then uh, 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 then you can open the connection uh, for open the connection for the access first you need to uh, first you need to uh, you know understand the reference uh, you give to reference here uh, go to tools and select the microsoft file 2.0 object on the library so when you uh, you know uh, select this so this tool is working fine and then you set the connection can set the connection is equal to new uh, adobdb dot connection so which we uh, you know uh, define the connection here and here is new uh, connection and then uh, provide uh, provider to microsoft dot a c e o l e d b dot 12.0 so this is a you know uh, connection provider and then define the you know uh, uh, data source which is the file name uh, you locate it into the your desktop or uh, different drive so you need to uh, you know uh, put the file name here here is a file name uh, so i write here file name so you can understand better uh, file name access okay you define the access uh, file name here and then you can open the connection and connection string is equal to com okay so you after you uh, open the connection uh, then you can set a record set means you can extract a record set into the excel okay so define the record set here and then first of all you set the record set we declare the here is a record set uh, you know variable and then you can set here is a new adu, uh, adu tp dot record set and then uh, you can you know put down the record set uh, 
then you can uh, 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 mention the SQL statement here which is uh, the SQL is equal to select the you know table name here is a table name uh, here is a select star from table name where the column which is the name here here is a name so I select here name and then <coughs> uh, name is equal to uh, you know uh, connect the combo box content to here here is a PR and we mention here the you know PR to here so whenever you change the combo box value then uh, this uh, criteria which is uh, you know stored into the SQL statement and then open the source SQL and then active connection is open and then you know uh, uh, then you set the uh, you know link the record set uh, into the Excel so you can use the looping part here little bit looking looping part so for r is equal to 0 to record set dot finds dot count minus 1 then a range a uh, dot offset 0 r r which is the we can define here r as an integer value is equal to record set dot field uh, dot r we can here is an array uh, we can use here and dot name and then next to r and then range dot offset so copy from the record set to record set record set so uh, we can copy from the record set and record set then in uh, then into the excel and then uh, we can close here okay and with and then we can close the connection closing connection statement connection okay uh, so we can uh, you know uh, 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 close the connection here uh, record set is nothing connection is closed and then connection is nothing and then we can uh, you know uh, when you get the data so you can use this uh, you know use this uh, color to a to p in the integer uh, dot sorry integer dot color is vd red and then font size you can change here and uh, if you want to uh, change the font color or bold so you can do this and call the one micro means i recorded one here is the you know uh, getting the border and uh, you know selections is like line style that's it and uh, here is a code and when i run this code so data getting in front of me so that is a little bit code and i you know i mentioned this code uh, in a description so you can understand better and you can use uh, in your workplace hope uh, you like my video thank you and very much hope